Now, the first thing I would do once I'd extracted the TGAs would be to rename them. So I'm going to go into Object TGAs. And I would rename them something a lot more descriptive so that I can find them easier uh, when I want to edit them. So I might call this after the course I was working on. So instead of imported nor it might be DP if it was my Darwin Point course, pink flower one. And I rename all of the imported's with a, a much easier to find name uh, like that. So I'll just come out now. If we do that, we can then delete the imported folder because the BTXs aren't being used. They were created by the old object library uh, that we deleted anyway. So we can delete that and just create a new one if we need to import more objects. Once I've deleted that, it's time to import the objects back into APCD. So if I come back a, to my main directory, I'll run APCD and go to planting. Now in the object library, click on objects and there are icons along here and one of them is an import. So if we click on import, find our TGAs folder. And if I click on DP Pink Flower 1, open, it'll appear. And I can say which type it is. So it's going, I want to put it in my flowers type. So I'll set this to flowers. And I'll set whatever the minimum and maximum heights I want it to be, uh, say eight, five, and click OK. This will now have added a new flower to the end of my flowers type. So this 242 should now be the new one. And it is. And you'll notice we've got a big extended blank part to this object. This is because it's a very small object. And if we planted it and it was just cut off at the ground level, it would only display up to a certain range because of its height. So if, if you've only got a two foot plant, say, it may only be visible from 20 feet away. Uh, if you've got a four foot high plant, it will be visible from 40 foot away. So in order for the flowers to not disappear further down the course when we're looking, we trick the APCD and links into thinking that the plant is bigger than it is. So we create these blank parts which are going to go underground. And then when we set this to, say, eight feet, it's actually only four feet once we move the planting depth marker up to where it needs to go. The other four foot is planted underground. So because it thinks that this is an eight foot plant, it will be visible from much further away. So that's why we add these blank parts to very small 2D objects so we can see them from further away. Now, because it's a flower, obviously I need to turn the all pass through on and set whatever the density and dampening well a flower wouldn't have a lot of dampening effect or a lot of density so I tend to make these quite low even maybe minimum so they have very little effect on the on the ball and if you were dealing with a tree you're obviously going to have to assign a top view because the top views have been stripped we've only extracted the main view so whatever the top view was on the original course uh, we'll have to assign another one to it so we can click the top view we don't want a top view for flowers and grasses anyway but if it was a tree click on the top view and assign that and once it's all done we click OK and then 
we have the new custom object in our object library. And as usual, if we want to add it to our planting set, highlight it, add to current planting set, and then save the planting set as we've done before. 